Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, during the last tip, it was a real cliffhanger. I was only able to make it through about halfway through the, the new block palettes inside of AutoCAD 2020. This week, we're gonna finish them off so that you are in the know, so you can impress your friends. I'm quite sure that will impress your friends. <laughs> so we went into the new block palettes by typing in I to go into insert. There's a variety of different ways for you to do that. And now I'm looking at all of the blocks in my current drawing. Very simple, very straightforward. Now you have the ability to control the, the way these display. By default, they display as large icons. Maybe you want extra large icons because you like to scroll. That's a possibility. The smaller the icons, here's medium, here's small, the more will fit onto one page there, the block palette, that means less scrolling, which I always think is a good thing. You can also select details. Now details is a, an alphabetized list, very basic. It does tell you if the blocks are annotative or dynamic or both, which is, comes in handy. You can find that out from the other options as well. And in order to see what the blocks look like though, I have to move my cursor over the block name, over the icon column. Ah, I don't like that, but maybe you like it. For those of you who are minimalists, who want it even more straightforward and simple, you can, collect, you can click on a list and you will see that it's alphabetized. I hardly get any information. If I move my cursor over the block name, it will display what it looks like and it will also tell me if it's annotative or dynamic. Oh, so much work. I'm too lazy for that. Let's go back over to large icon because I like it that way. Now you'll see some blocks have the Harry Potter lightning bolt. We know that that means that they're dynamic. Some blocks have the annotative symbol, which means, no surprise, they happen to be annotative and some are both, right? Now, what about filters? <laughs> you'll see it says filters up there. Well, hopefully you know your filters. That's another block for another time. I'm just going to cover the very, very basics. What if you have so many blocks in your drawing that you're tired of leafing through them, you just want to type in the name or you just want to get to it really quickly. I can use this wildcard. I can, if I type in C asterisk, the asterisk means all possibilities. This will show me all of the blocks that start with the letter C. All right. These wildcards have been around a long time. It doesn't do autocomplete, by the way. If I said asterisk L, well, that would show me all the blocks that ended in the letter L, all possibilities that ended in the letter L, all right? So there's some basic filter knowledge for you. You also see that there are two other tabs on the ribbon, recent and other drawing. I'm gonna just actually just close this up and show you that you can go to the insert tab on the ribbon and you can click on insert and you will see recent blocks and blocks from other drawings show up down here. Guess what? These send you back to the block palette. And no surprise, if you click on recent blocks, it opens the recent blocks tab. What is in the recent blocks tab? Shocking blocks that you have recently inserted. What? Tell me it isn't true. Now this list can actually get pretty darn long the longer you use the block palettes. So they did add in a nice little feature where you can do a right click and you can remove the blocks from the list. I can see that could get a little tedious. There's also a system variable that you can set that controls the maximum number of recent blocks that show up in the block palette. That's another option for you. Now if I go to, and you can see same deal, you can drag and drop these guys. There's no room on there for a table, but we're gonna put a table in anyway. <laughs> you can drag and drop them just like you could in the, other, in the current drawing tab. And then other drawing, well, what is that? Well, no surprise, these are blocks from other drawings, a lot like Design Center. So if you click on the ellipses, that's what those are called. You can select any drawing file that you want. Let's go to, how about uh, landscape? That looks like a good one. I'm gonna go ahead and open that. And you'll see that the blocks from that particular drawing are now available to me and I can drag and drop those into my drawing. Very simple and very straightforward. All right, so. Have I won you over as far as the block palette is concerned? Are you willing to give it a try and be more productive? Oh yeah, I know you are. So that's it for the block palettes. Uh, I hope to see you back here during the next tip and uh, have a great rest of the week, okay? All right, peace out.